With the emergence and spread of new variants of concern, we are cautioned that unless we maintain and abide by stringent public health measures, we may not be able to avert a reacceleration of the epidemic in Canada. Canadians need to stick to social distancing and other public health measures just a little while longer, even as lockdowns end. But Canada's top doctors say the presence of new COVID variants in Canada mean we could see an explosive growth in cases if Canada opens up too much too soon. Further lifting of the public health measures will cause the epidemic to resurge rapidly and strongly. That's the orange line. And current Community-based public health measures will be insufficient to control rapid growth and resurgence is forecast. This concern is driven by the B117 variant of COVID first seen in the United Kingdom late last year and already confirmed in over 600 Canadian cases. British researchers say this variant is up to 50% more contagious, reflected in the updated Canadian models. In the worst case scenario, represented by the orange line here, Canada could see over 20,000 cases a day heading into March. If there's not enough capacity to do enough testing, tracing and sequencing, then, you know, that there's a distinct possibility that the gray line will veer towards the orange line. How much it veers towards the orange line remains to be seen. This comes as many provinces leave the post-holiday lockdown. Ontario, Alberta and Quebec began ending lockdowns last week while some hotspots remain closed. But this has left Canadians not in a hotspot, wondering if this means it's all right to begin returning to ordinary life. Epidemiologist Ray Watt Dionandon says the message from public health is clear. It's now incumbent upon people to self-restrict a bit more. You don't really have to go to that party. You don't have to go to that bar. You don't have to go to that restaurant. And this, this hurts me saying so because I know it hurts the industries, the small businesses, but we can always do takeout still. So the more we can keep on limiting our exposure to other people, things will work out better. Now, Dion Andon says knowing B117 is in the wild in Canada means we all need to be more diligent than ever, especially with respect to masking. With B117's increased transmissibility, things like leaving your nose exposed, like some Canadians like to do, now carries a bigger risk than ever. In Ottawa, Shao Lee, City News.